chance here to drive lightning the positively charged EV channel. This time we've got a product review. And by the way, we get offered these a lot. We only accept the ones that absolutely apply to our community. And for our community, we think it's time to cut the cord. It's time to say goodbye to the old way of doing things. Well, almost, oh. almost. As you know, the Aptera Solar Charge electric vehicle will have the NAX port. Also, all the new EVs are gonna have the Tesla port. And we have had a home charger with the NAC or the uh, J1772, uh, this thing. And to be future-proofed, we needed one that has the Tesla port. And just at that time, EV Dance reached out to us and said, Chan Siri, please review our 40 amp Tesla home charger, which happens to also be portable and has some great features like being waterproof, snowproof, yeah. pretty important to these guys in Michigan. In Michigan yeah. with no garage. So now when we get our Aptera and when we get any other EVs we buy, we'll be able to use this particular charger. So there will thank be- Thank you, EV Dance. Yeah, thank you. There'll be a link in the description. If you wanna buy it, use that link. And there'll be a code only for you, only for viewers of this channel, which will save you 20%. Right. But wait. But wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> their Black Friday <laughs> event coming up, which you'll see on their website, which you'll see the link for in the description. If you use the code for this channel, which is in the description, and you were to buy an EV charger like this one we're about to show you, or an extension cord, because they have like huge extension cords, you know, for your EV chargers, which is pretty right. cool. It is cool. If you buy either one of those and put in your car a adapter, yeah. like a Tesla to J1772 or vice versa adapter, they'll give you the adapter for free. Yeah, that they'll is just erase the charge for it. It's like a $75 savings because you watch this channel. Thank you and thank yeah. you EV Dance. So let's get it out of the box. Just want to give you some idea of the length of this cord, this cable. It says it's 28 feet. Look at this. Still going, still going, still going. So you get, it's hard to get a visual on just how long that thing is. But it's awesome to have, especially when you have multiple EVs like we do. There's a shot of everything in the box. So key feature why we wanted this one is of course the Tesla charging port. So we could finally be uh, future proof with Nax. This is meant to be portable, so it comes, you know, like this. You might have a 220 plug in your garage, and then you can simply plug this in there. But what if you summer in Florida? You live in Michigan, you summer in Florida. Well, then you just unplug it and take it with you. In both areas, you just have one charger that kind of does everything for you. Well, we're not going to use this as a portable, so we're going to cut that piggy tail right off there and hardwire it right into our breaker box. That's a choice we're making. And then we'll be able to really test the longevity of this thing through the winters. Uh, that's the mount. You'll be able to put it like this and you'll be able to plug your handle into that when it's not used and wrap the cable around here. You'll see that. This is what will actually mount to our house and then that dude will slide right into this dude. No big deal. All the hardware is here. It comes with everything you need to make this happen and we'll get it done. So if you're going to use this uh, with the plug, if you're going to plug this in in your garage or you're going to use it as a portable and bring it with you where you go and plug it in, just don't go to Home Depot and get the cheapest socket you can get to wire this 220 up. If you think about a regular dryer socket, it might cost 12 bucks. It's meant to run maybe an hour at a time at the most, and then it gets a rest and runs again. But with electric vehicles, especially ones with bigger batteries, it's gonna be several hours of constant flow of juice. So what happens with those cheap boxes is quite frankly, they could just burn up. So spend a couple extra bucks, get a high quality 220 socket if you're gonna use this as a plug-in uh, EV charger. Now we're not. We're going to cut this right off of here. We're going to hardwire it right to our breaker box. We recommend a professional electrician for that, which is what we're using. Um, anyway, that's it. That's like a PSA, public service announcement. But that's it. The EV Dance Tesla charger up to 40 amps with, of course, what we really wanted was the charge port, the NOx. So we're looking forward to getting this installed right now and see what it can do. And we'll show you. So you can see I have it installed here on the side of my house. It's Michigan, it's outside. This thing's gonna see rain, it's gonna see ice, it's gonna see snow, and lots of it. So it is raining quite steady. As you can see, the BMW i3 is plugged into our EV Dance 40 amp Tesla charger through an adapter, of course. And uh, rain is just not a problem for this thing. We've got ours set to 30, 
30 amps so you can go as high as 40 but because the room we have in our box we choose to charge it 30 amp because we have the time to do it you can adjust it all the way down to 10 amp and all the way up to 40 just by pushing that button right there but you can see it's outside there's no cover on this thing I do have a cover on the handle because what happens at my house is ice will come from here in the winter and many times has frozen my handle in the cradle on our old charger so we decided to cover up the EV dance handle but not the charging unit itself because quite frankly it just doesn't require that this thing is pretty amazing okay so this is our first snow here in West Michigan so it's time for me to show you how we charge our car in the snow here is our EV dance it just finished charging actually it took four hours to get 26.6 uh, kilowatts in the BMW i3 and you can see the snow is just not a problem for this thing so charging the snow with the EV dance 40 amp Tesla charger not an issue happy winter everybody enjoy I had this professionally wired so I could send it right to my breaker box in the house instead of the way it was meant to be used which is a portable where you would just plug it into a NEMA 1450, a high quality NEMA 1450 if you're wise. Uh, but we'll see how it gets along. Some cool features I want to show you about this. One, you can adjust the, uh, you can adjust the amperage you're putting out. Okay, let me show you how to adjust this. So that's the, one of the beautiful things about this. I like to charge at 32 amps which is nice. It also shows you how many volts are coming in, shows you the temperature. If you want to charge that, change that, there's a button here for A, for amperage. You hold it down until it lights up and then you start tapping it. 40, 10, 16, 24, 32, and then leave it alone and it'll lock in place right there. You can charge up to 40 amps if you want to. Uh, I choose not to. I only have so much room in my breaker box in the house. Uh, this button is to set a timer so you can adjust when you want it to start I don't use that, I set that up in my car proper, so I just leave it as a plug and play. But there it is, that's the EV Dance 40 amp, or EV Dance EV Charger 40 amp, or up to 40 amp, adjustable, which is what I love. Of course it has the Tesla port, which we all need to have now. That is the American standard. We want to say a huge thank you to EV Dance for sending us the charger and go to us that this link and buy it and save 20%. And by for the, the way, deal that's they're awesome. offering to all but of wait our till Black viewers. Friday. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. But also, we want to say thank you so much to all the members of this channel. You keep the wheels turning on the Positively Charged EV channel. We can't thank you enough. We can't express can't. to you how much it means to us. And the Mug Club members. And the Mug Club members. They bought mugs. They bought mugs so, so that these, these mugs, mugs can go to back California. To California. Have which we are soon. planning our trip pretty soon because there's a lot happening there. It's getting and, cold here. So. And it's getting cold yeah. here. So California is looking real good right about now. And we want to see the advancement on the production of the Aptera. Not that they've called and asked us to come. They don't know that. All right. Thanks. See y'all later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>